good morning guys welcome back to another video i'm gonna do like a catch up but i'm just gonna find my tripod i was just standing here in the kitchen and i'm like oh my gosh the lighting here is actually pretty good maybe i should do this here i'm not actually wearing any pants so i can't be like standing too far from the camera the reason i have a tripod is actually because I did a motion design unit a couple of years ago. I'm not just some weirdo with a tripod. <laughs> okay, I'm good to go now. So this week has been pretty good. Lately, okay, so the last like few weeks, um, obviously I haven't been as consistent with the videos at the moment they're like more it's they're more like every two weeks rather than like weekly so and i would do videos like i would do more videos if i had more time but i think like there's just been a couple of weeks where saturday morning rolls around which is like just a really good time for me to do this like video and put it all together i know like the last video that i did was pretty bad <laughs> because it was just like i did do a catch up but then i filmed it like i was holding the phone and i couldn't see the screen because i was using that camera but i was actually using the selfie camera and i was just filming like the wall it was ugh, so annoying anyway i think if i could i would like show what i'm eating every day like i'd be like okay you know and like show not that i'm eat like i'm not eating anything exciting it's not very exciting but i would like to show what i'm eating because that's kind of like the biggest thing about losing weight is just showing like what i'm eating and like showing what i'm doing but because i eat at work and then i'll eat dinner with my daughter it's like i'm not gonna like get my phone out and like show what i'm eating at work because i eat at my desk like while i'm working so I'll have like my three eggs so I'm still doing that um some days I'll just have two because honestly like some days when I'm at work and I'm like drinking my water and like I'll have you know my iced coffee in the morning some days I'll just have two but I don't want to get my phone out and like you know film because I'm at my desk working so it's a bit awkward but um no I would show that if I could even though it wouldn't be that exciting though and then with dinner it's kind of the same thing it's like I, pro I would show it um but maybe I could when I'm like in the kitchen but I'm, I wouldn't like just sort of get my phone out while we're like having dinner because it's a bit weird I have been doing as well with tracking my water and calorie intake um I'm not actually tracking calories I'm just tracking how many days that i'm under a certain amount because while i'm not tracking the days that i know like for sure that i've eaten under 1200 calories it's like i know that i have because i've had like one meal i've had a few eggs like i just know that that meal is a certain amount of calories it cannot it's just it cannot be more than a certain amount of calories and then you know the eggs are a certain amount of calories so i just know that i was definitely under 1200 so that's kind of how i'm tracking it it's like yes i'm winging it but i really do not want to track calories and that's kind of why my calorie target is pretty low because i would rather just be safe and just be like yep i'm definitely under a certain amount i'll just show you Oops, I just bumped the tripod. God damn. But you can sort of see how, like, I'm not really doing that great anymore. Um, I think yesterday I didn't track... Oh, the last couple of days I didn't track. Wow, Sophie. But, yeah. Um, I haven't really filled it in. Like, some days I was probably fine and I just haven't filled it in. But other days, definitely, I was over the 1,200 calories. And then even some days, like, I don't think I drank enough water. I think on the weekends, I think on the weekends are days that I tend to not drink enough water. And then 
go over the amount of calories that I want because I feel like the weekend we're more likely to get like extra things like and I'm just more likely to have extra food on the weekends because I find it so easy I mean relatively easy to not eat too much you know or to say no to things like I feel like I, I think that's easier during the week in a way and then on the weekends it's like well it's the weekend you know so it's kind of a bit like it's one of those things where I think the weekends are okay except when they're not so a big problem at the moment for me is weekdays I do have my three eggs by the time I get home around like six o'clock and I need to make dinner I there are days when I find it a little bit tempting especially like this week because I was on my period so I find it really tempting to eat like kind of random snacks we've got because I've got like little random snack things for Aisha's school lunch so random things like that I find a little bit tempting there are days when I'll be like cooking dinner and I'll have a bit of this and a bit of that so it's not such a problem like if I say if like I'm making dinner and I'm also unpacking Aisha's lunch box and just kind of cleaning that and she's got some like leftovers in her lunch box like say if she's got some like leftover popcorn usually because a lot of the other things I'm like not really like tempted to eat like but certain things it's like oh yeah just I'll try a bit of that it depends what it is I suppose I suppose like the popcorn I tend to just like have a bit of popcorn it's not like heaps because like popcorn's pretty like low calorie so it's not like heaps of popcorn but like you know it's just a little bit of popcorn so like little things like that I think is fine because it's just such a small amount but my problem is that there are days when I have obviously been at work not been eating much I've had my three eggs and it's like I come home and I'm like I'm ravenous and there have been days where you know I've just kind of felt like you know I'm I feel like I'm ravenous I feel like I'm you know I'm tired like I've had a big day or possibly even a stressful day as well like that tends to happen I mean it happens like you know some days are fine but like some days yeah and I find it very tempting like the other day I was very tempted to get takeaway we actually didn't so that was really really good but oh my god I was I was that tempted I think that was Monday I think it was Monday because I had a bad day at work oh no I think maybe that was even the week before actually but but the weeks like just blend all together it's scary but that was kind of good because I was really really like tempted I was like pretty much had decided to myself like that's what I'm gonna do but then when I went to pick iron shirt from my parents house and then like sort of work on the way home I, I think I just kind of made that like split decision of like no I won't because um I just you know if maybe if I was by myself maybe I would have just done it like I, I'm not sure but I think just thinking of her and thinking like you know it's it's her health as well you know like she's gonna eat it too that was kind of like you know I don't know it was kind of one of those like split things of like oh no I won't so it, it is good to have those little wins I mean at the end of the day losing weight is pretty much just those little wins you know like the random Tuesday where you didn't go and get KFC you just went home you know you put the salmon you have in the fridge you popped it in the oven and you just whipped up some vegetables and you just ate it and that was and then you just clean it up and go about your night routine and that's it you know just those little things I think that's actually what it's all about so I have had a couple of those which is great I did weigh myself last night so last week I didn't actually weigh myself because I just didn't get a chance to so um, I've already said this I think but 
the scales that I use are at my parents' house. I haven't actually bought bathroom scales. I used to have them, but since moving here a few years ago, I haven't actually bought bathroom scales because my parents have them at their house and we are over there quite a lot. So there's just really no need for me to buy my own scales really. I think I possibly would. I, I possibly would buy bathroom scales if I felt like I had somewhere to put them. And I sort of do have somewhere to put them, but I'd rather not. I'd, I'd Yeah, there's just no need to buy bathroom. There really is no need for me to buy them. So, but yeah, that's sort of why like last week I didn't weigh myself because like, you know, I was over there um because every friday we have dinner at their place so i was over there but i just didn't um get around to it because i was probably like you know we're just chatting hanging out and i just didn't get around to it so didn't weigh myself last week um i did weigh myself last night though um so i'm currently 82.5 so it's a bit it's good because it's gone down so obviously we're always going to be happy when the scale goes down right because like I, I wish that i recorded my weight more accurately because after christmas i was like oh yeah i'm like 85 but here it's like 84 so highest weight that i've recorded this year is 84 so that's kind of where i'm starting from but i think the highest weight was like around 85 i think it was 85.6 or 85.9 or something highest weight like highest recorded weight this year is 84 and then i'm currently at 82.5 and then because my ultimate goal is to lose 30 kilos this year because i want to get down to 55 55 kilos so for ages i was just hovering around 80 kilos so i was like i just want to i need to lose like 25 and then i'm done and then i just want to be at 55 you know but then of course you know the weight's gone back up so very very frustrating but i have lost 30 kilos so i know i could do it it's just about like figuring out how <laughs> just because i feel like going from going from 110 to 100 was like a whole different thing to going from 100 to 80 and then 80 255 is going to be like a whole different thing i mean i'm at 82.5 now so 82.5 down 55 is going to be another whole different thing but that's how i feel i feel like each stage is actually different so i think it was just in the first check-in like week one thing vlog i did where i just said like you know i read the 12 week year and I think there are certain aspects from that book that I want to use for my goals this year. So my 12 week goal, and that's the thing, like I'm only doing this one goal, which is to lose weight. So for 12, the 12 weeks, I want to lose 7.5, 7.5 kilos in 12 weeks. Let me just get my calendar out. Okay, so we're in the eighth week of 2024. Okay, so I've got I've got four weeks. Well, yeah, obviously it's four, Sophie. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's freaking crazy how quickly. That's why the 12 week plan is so bloody good. Because yeah, you do think to yourself, like, oh, it's only Feb. It's only Feb, you know, we're fine. You know, we got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. But then all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, we're in the eighth week. There's only four weeks left of the 12 weeks. Holy shit. So that's fucking annoying as fuck. Cause when I was like actually figuring that out, cause I was like, okay, so I want to lose 30 kilos 
this year like i want to lose 30 kilos in 2024 and like the 12 week thing i was like okay so i want to lose 7.5 like break that down to each 12 weeks so okay i want to lose 7.5 kilos each 12 weeks and i'm like well i can do that because that's i think it was like less than half a kilo anyway so now it's like fuck's sake i'm so behind because of course and it's a bit hard because it's like am i judging this from 85 kilos like 85 point something or am i judging it from 84 kilos i've actually tracked i've really stabbed myself in the foot here because this is actually one of the things in the 12 week year that he's like um you know be accurate and like don't don't do what sophie's doing because she's not doing it accurately i'm gonna go from like 85 okay so three and a half kilos I'm not doing very well, am I? Yeah, okay. I've pretty much got like four kilos to go. But yeah, so far I've lost three and a half. How am I going to make this my habits, my lifestyle, so that one day I'll just be 55 kilos and I won't really have to think about how to maintain that. I just maintain it. It might not be possible for me to maintain 55 kilos without really having to like have it on my mind like think about it every single day and like put a lot of effort into it the last two or three weeks i haven't really been meal prepping like, i really need to have things that it's just easy like i can come home from work and just get it going get it cooking it it has to be like easy and salmon's great because all you have to do is season it and just chuck it in the oven and then i can just put some veggies on the pan losing weight while you have a nine-year-old um i don't know how people do it with more than one kid because basically like she really does not like eating the food i cook yep so but yeah things that i'm gonna focus on next week i feel like i should do i should meal prep um like a chili con con i feel like that would be that would be really helpful because what i need this week or next week is i i need to come home and have it all just ready to go like i need to know that like okay i just go home and i can just put some like heat up some of that and i'm good to go i can hear a fly dying you know being hungry when i get home that's the issue it's like i'm okay with being at work and i feel fine like i don't feel like oh i need like more i don't uh, i think i'm fine i don't feel like really sluggish or anything you know like i don't feel like i need more energy or anything like that i'm fine like you know as long as i'm drinking lots of water and i've got my eggs i think it's fine and i do have a nice coffee in the morning as well so it's not like i'm going into work with absolutely nothing like i do have a nice coffee i actually still have time to get to my 12 week goal but i've really made it difficult for myself this is just me i think because like yeah in a normal because but it's good though it, it it honestly is good because if i was just doing a normal like you know oh i really want to lose like 30 kilos this year i would be thinking like oh it's fair but it's fine like i've got plenty of time but it's and but now i'm like oh shit like i want to lose like four kilos in four weeks now which isn't which is stupid as well yeah but like look i want to lose weight you know i just i just want to and it's just one of those things where what's the easiest way <laughs> I mean, if I want to lose a kilo per week before this 12-week thing, my 12-week deadline, because after that I need to start like another thing. And then after like my, my new 12-week thing, I'm going to have two goals. And like obviously one of them will be weight loss. Oh, I, I just want to lose another 7.5 kilos. And then the other one will be to pass my subject i'm only doing one subject this trimester but uh, that's a lot anyway so yeah next week 
in terms of weight loss just re- just really come on let's just focus so next week weight loss wise should i challenge myself and try and lose a kilo i don't want to be silly and like try to do something that's not actually even possible all right i really need to wrap this up because it's going way too long thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye